video yesterday hmm? but when i was on live i said something and i was talking about making money on social media not just on facebook on social media so but first of all i want to start from somewhere before i go to social media now let's talk about because everybody must not everybody must not make money on social media this is the truth everybody must not make money from social media because this i think this is now making people to everybody you see they're going to social media they are buying data to do one or two things because they want to make money and all that but the truth is that everybody will not make money from social media yes that's the truth because if i don't tell you this truth that means I am lying. I'm lying to myself and also lying to you. So I should tell you the truth so that you know how to channel your energy. Because there's there's nothing like one channeling his or her energy to the right direction. So I want to make you to see something first. Then after seeing this thing, I will not take you to like this this my this my video is divided into two now one is for offline and one is for online but for now let me talk about the offline like there's something i said this morning that sometimes you run around run from pillar to post looking for money but that money is at your doorstep when i said doorstep i don't mean that if you open the, your door you pick money no what i mean by doorstep is that around you your surroundings your area your environment your house everywhere if you can be able to come down look in world and make something out of your environment you see that there are things you have been neglecting overlooking that can fetch you huge amount of money even without much stress without applying much much pressure to achieve it now let's talk about let's talk about our environment i see people there are people that when you tell them that there are people that when you tell them what to do for example they'll be like ah me a homie do this there's nothing like a homie when you are looking for money i want to tell you this thing today there is nothing like a homie a homie do this if you have this mindset that a homie i will never do this if you have this mindset that means you're not ready to pick you're not ready to make money. You're not ready to even have something that you can point out and say, yes, I achieved I achieved this in life and this is my investment. This is what I have. This is what I bought with my money. So first of all, you have to drop the mindset of, I can't do this. You can't. You have to drop the mindset of, I, I, me, don't even call me to come and do this type of stuff. No, you have to drop that mindset. So in your environment, I, I always tell people that businesses like grossless you know when we say grossless like some people call it full stuff business okay let me use that language that the language that everybody will understand full stuff business now when you tell people to do full stuff business they will be like ah, ah me go and start pouring oil for people measuring gary rice for people no listen and listen good what we are talking about today in our country is something that can earn you and still sustain you and not you wearing beautiful clothes doing shakara or maybe showing yourself that you are you are this or you are that but your account is saying otherwise that's not what you need in the present day nigeria so full stop business that's number one i want to talk about today food stuff business people are overlooking food stuff business and when we talk about this food stuff business food stuff business have branches you can't even one person cannot even do it like one person can just come out and say that they are doing all the food stuff business it has branches it's it, it's broad it's very broad that if you can even do like maybe five items out of it you are good to go for example now if you can get a shop where you are selling rice 
beans. Maybe you have plans of selling all these things in bags, but you don't have money. So you bought one bag, one bag of rice, one bag of beans, and you start by measuring it, selling it. You are good to go from, from one, one step to another. And that's, that's how it will just go for you. Full stop business is a business you should not overlook. Because of what? People eat every day. There is no body that does not eat on a daily basis. If there is something humans hustle for in life, the first thing is what? Food. So if you are neglecting food stop business, selling groceries and all these things, that means you don't know what you want to do. You don't know what to what to do. See, when I talk about food stop business, I'm talking about selling everything that you use to cook food. Red oil, granite oil, pepper, crayfish, seasonings, all these things. Then you, you, you can add um, production to it. You can go and be producing red oil. There are people that are making it in this country today just by selling red oil. You can go into red oil storage or red oil business, storage or not. Just go into the red oil business and start doing it. If you can be able to start red oil business, I assure you that before I give you like six months, one year, high years, if you're not okay, maybe you didn't start with enough capital, high years, two years, you will get yourself. So when I look at people and they come out to say that um, they, they cannot do business that is related to food stuff, I laugh at them. You, you don't have to go and buy something, keep in your shop because you don't want, you don't want anything to dirty your skin or dirty your body. You buy something, keep in the shop. In a day, you will not sell. You lock that shop. You are paying for shop. Once it's one year, once it's 12 months, your, your landlord or landlady will call you and tell you, oh yeah, pay for your rent. What does, it doesn't make sense if you ask me that you will just open a shop. Just open a shop and put something inside because you want to feel belonged. This business you are investing on, have you tried to make inquiries in your area, in your environment, or that city, or that place you are living, how this business is going? If this business will go well for you, if this business is going in that environment, no, people don't do it. What people do or does is this. So far, it won't dirty them. They'll just go and open it. You don't just start business like that. In your environment, first of all, you check. What are those things that people are lacking? What are those, th those things that people need? You offer it. People want you to offer them something. People want you to offer them something. You look around your environment. Like when I see everybody, you open POS, POS. You, a lot of people are doing POS business. I am not saying that POS business is not good or it's not going well. No, that is not what I'm saying. But I am saying that sometimes you don't just jump into what everybody is doing. Because you see everybody doing it. You jump into it and start doing it. First of all, you look at your environment. And know what that environment is lacking. Give it to them. Give it to them. This full stuff business, people are looking down. You think those, those women you see in the market or you see on, in the streets selling food stuff or food items, you think those women are, are common people? They are not. You are the one that, that are seeing them that you are the one that is seeing them as common people. They are not. These people are on a low key rich people. These people are low key rich men and women. Low key rich, rich men and women. They are doing well for themselves. God look at them very well. It's hard to see them look hungry. Unless it's someone that is not that does not know what he or she is doing in the business. So First of all, I have to tell you this. Number one, this one, I'm still explaining this full stuff. Things you can do in full stuff. You see, red oil is among the full stuff um, items you can sell. But you see this red oil of a thing. Take it serious. Yes, you must not be working at oil company for you to know that you are, you, you, for you to see yourself as, a, as somebody that is working with oil company. No. 
if you start dealing with red oil, if you start selling red oil, I, I assure you that you live to testify. So, look around your environment. Give them what they need. Don't always rush to do what others are. I, sometimes I will come in a, in a, in a street. I will see some. I will see people. This one is selling provision. This one is selling provision. This one is selling provision. The same line of business, and because they are all selling the same thing, they are, they will just become unnecessary envious of each other. When you go to this person's shop to buy something, this one will start looking to see. Ah, ah, I thought this lady greeted me now, and she didn't come to buy from me. Are we quarrelling? You see. But if you have, if you have foresight, and you want to rent a shop. For example, and you come to you, you you come to a line where people are selling, you do a survey. First of all, you do a survey. Then after doing this survey, you find out that this person is selling this, and this person is selling there are this there are like three or four people selling similar things. Don't go and carry yourself and put inside. No, that's not a good business idea. What you should do is to go look look, look around and start selling things. That are not yet in that maybe a plaza or line or area. That is number one ways of doing well as a business person. You cannot just go and open shop and um, because you see others selling, you go and buy, put there. Then after like six, seven months, eight months, you not maybe after one year, you will not be able to pay for that shop. You know, it's not a good thing for you. It's not a good thing for you. So I will be from time to time I will be posting videos here to give you ideas on things you can do to as in to make it in this economy. You know, there's something that we don't sit down to analyze most times. If you sit down to analyze things most times, you understand and agree with me that the when economy goes up. Things also do what go up. It's still the same thing. Yes, it's still the same. If you buy ten, if you buy something at ten naira, and you sell it at twenty naira, maybe by next week you go to the market, buy that same thing at twenty naira, and sell it at thirty naira. It's still the same profit. It's still the same margin. There's no changes. The, the difference is that the consumers are the ones that are mostly com complaining because they are what they are consumers. So if you're not a consumer. You may not feel it that way because once you're a business person if things get if if things go higher you try as much as possible to do what to adjust so it's not supposed to affect you so today i am talking about groceries full stuff business take it serious if you're a young girl in fact this is a business you should do don't allow anybody to tell you hey so baby, baby like you, beautiful girl like you, will be selling food stuff, selling rice, um, the uh, selling, uh, uh, measuring, measuring uh, rice and beans to people. Beautiful girl, beautiful girl does not put money in your pockets. Let me tell you the truth. Beautiful, that I'm beautiful. It doesn't make, it doesn't put money in your pockets. It's your hustle. It's your, it's your, it's your hustle that will put money in your pockets. And that hustle, if you want to hustle legit. Take full stuff business serious. This is a business that can earn you from 5k and above every day. Yes, if you earn 5k and above every day and you remove your rent, you remove your feeding and every other thing, do you know what that means? So don't allow anybody to tell you that full stop business is for old people. It's not for old women. It's not for old women the, that you see ma women like aged women or maybe women in their fifties for uh, mid late forties do that business in the market, or women in their seventies do that business in the market does not make it that does not mean that the business is for the, for for people in that age bracket. You as a young girl can do this business. There is no there is no business that that comes with an age bracket. The only thing you need to do is ask yourself question will i make it in this business is it moving so in this economy that we are into in nigeria what fits this economy is business that moves on a daily basis any business that moves on a daily basis is what fits this economy 
so if if for example you you have money to start up a business please consider opening grocery stores i mean food stuff selling food stuff food, food items anything that has to do with food because this is number one basic need of man once you may not even buy clothes you may stay one year two years three years you've not bought any clothes any new clothes you're managing the one you have but there's no day you can stay without eating food so and this is the reason you should consider this business consider this business as in don't give it a second thought so please share my video and follow my page if you are seeing this video thanks for watching share my video follow my page i will always drop videos on things you need to know and invest your money in for you to be able to you know for you to be able to uh, feed well and have some money in your pocket in this economy thanks for watching my name is santi caro have a nice day